Hey there folks, welcome back. This video is part three of a total of three parts on a 2019 Dodge Charger that a local dealership brought over to me because they have found that these lug nuts are way, way over torqued, potentially cross threaded, and they could not get them off. I'm going to consider this video bonus footage because I've already done the exact same procedure on the driver's side of this car which is why I've moved it over here onto the second channel. On this particular video, I've already done all of the drilling that I think is required in order to get this lug nut out. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to the juicy part where I chisel this bad boy off of the stud and get it extracted. This one came apart a bit easier, so I'm gonna scale it down. Man, yeah, maybe not. Let's clean up those birds that I made. I think I got this one. Oh yeah, yeah, it's there. This one's coming out. One more. Ooh.
appears to me that I'm getting better at the procedure for this particular wheel drill, wheel, wheel stud drilling procedure as I go along. Cutting into the threads on this next bit. This is a big one. Watch out. I'm in the home stretch and I don't even care about this drill bit anymore. I'm going for it. Okay, drill's getting hot. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I don't wanna smoke my drill. I like this drill. It's a good drill, but it can't handle thousand percent duty cycle for two hour two and a half hours straight. And look, the rim is still shiny. No damage whatsoever. All right, I uh, I think I'm through the threads on this now, so I'm gonna give it some rata tata tatas with the uh, with the impact driver and see if it uh, if it won't start to turn. If it doesn't, or if it's gonna give me grief, I'll just uh, I'll hit it with some more drill bit action. Oh yeah, I got her. Oh yeah, here she comes. Beautiful. It's true. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Reverse machining. thread left that I didn't drill through. Just one. That is razor sharp through there. Close that one. Okay, let's pull the wheel off and uh, I'll get those studs changed. This job is nearly complete. Hard part's over. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's definitely reverse machine shop work. Oh, I like it. Okay, I got uh, I got the other two pulled through already, and the wheels going on, and this job is complete. Now, because I got this all oily, I'm gonna high pressure wash it with some uh, some solvent and some air just to get that film off. I'm all done with this damn thing. Oh. And boy, oh boy, am I glad this was a success. Could have been, could have been a lot worse. This was a pain. I, I legitimately have probably five and a half hours of, uh, of tinkering into this car. And I'll just be glad to see it go. Anyway, all that being said, if you guys liked watching me, so anyway, all that being said, if you guys liked watching me uh, uh, get tortured by this Dodge right here because somebody chowdered up those lug nuts, let me know by giving me a, a thumbs up down in that little like button. That really, really helps me out because that makes the YouTube algorithm start to go, uh, start to, because that's what gets the YouTube algorithm moving along. And that's how my videos get shared with uh, other viewers and other potential viewers. Uh, if there's anything you didn't like about this video, like when I, uh, when I missed the, the lug nut with that chisel and put a big scratch in the rim, let me know about that in the comment section down below. Uh, I'd like to say though, if, uh, if you do have some negative comments, please be constructive about it. Because if you get out of line, I will pin your comment and then the rest of the audience will rip you a new one. Uh, that being said, like I said earlier, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget, have a great day. See you later, Dodge Charger.